Hello boys and girls, welcome back for another math lesson. Today we're going to continue to explore our solid 3D shapes, but today we're going to learn about what flat surfaces are as well as vertices. Let's get started with our video. Our words to know. Turtle. Cone. Sphere. Cube. Cylinder. Some solid figures have flat surfaces. Look at the cylinder. How many flat surfaces does a cylinder have? All right, so let's think about what that word flat surfaces mean. It's one of our vocabulary words in today's lesson. And a flat surface is that flat part of our solid shape. So on a cylinder, if you remember from our lesson yesterday, we said that there are some flat surfaces here. So I see um, one flat surface here at the bottom, but we have to remember that solid shapes always have two sides. So I have one flat surface here, but I also have another flat surface of a circle at the top on the other side. A cylinder has two flat surfaces. How many flat surfaces does a cube have? Okay, so now a cube is going to be a little bit more tricky because we need to count all of the surfaces, even though in this picture I can't exactly see all of them. So, we know that I have one flat surface here, so that counts as one, but I also have that same flat surface on the other side as well, the back of it, even though I can't see it. So that's one, two, now I have a flat surface here on this side to count as three, but remember, there's also another side, so that'll count as four. And then my last two flat surfaces will be on both the top as well as the bottom for a total of six. A cube has six flat surfaces. Now again, we only see it highlight three of them, but we know that our solid shapes are 3D, so I'll still have a back, a top, a bottom, and both sides. A rectangular prism also has six flat surfaces. How many flat surfaces does a cone have? So again, looking at our shape of a cone, think of where it is flat, and I see that the bottom of the cone is flat and looks like a circle. A cone has one flat surface. How many flat surfaces does a sphere have? Think about what we know about a sphere. A sphere can roll on all sides. So do you see any point of the sphere that has a flat part to it? Shout out your answer. A sphere doesn't have a flat surface. I hope that you said that there are not any zero flat surfaces on a sphere. Solid figures that do not roll have vertices. We're going to learn, this is our next important vocabulary word in our lesson today, and that's the word vertices. Vertices mean more than one vertex. So pay attention to where they put these little circles. A vertex is a point where three flat surfaces meet. So we know our solid shapes are made up of flat surfaces. That's why they are solid. However, when those flat surfaces come together to meet, they form that little point. That's what these circles are that you see. That corner that forms that point is what we call a vertex. Now, a vertex is that point where they meet. However, if a shape has more than one vertex, which you see both a cube and a rectangular prism have a lot of vertexes, well, we're not going to call it a vertexes. We're going to call it a vertices. That's how we say the plural form. It's called a vertices if it has more than one vertex. How many vertices does a rectangular prism have? All right, so let's take a look at our rectangular prism here. Now, let's start on this side because I can see all of the vertices on this side. I can see one, two, three, four. Now, they circled the other ones that I can see, but there is one that I cannot see. If you're looking where my mouse is, that is where the other vertice would be if we could see the whole shape. So, 
if this side has four, that means the other side will also have four, even though I can't see it right now in this picture. So four and four, how many vertices does a rectangular prism have? Shout out your answer. A rectangular prism has eight vertices. So even though I see only seven circles right now, it's because I cannot see through my solid figure and there would be another vertice um, where my mouse is if I were to if I were able to turn the shape right now. How many vertices does a cube have? Take a minute to think about that. I see one, two, three, four on this side, but what I see on this side I know will also be on the other side. So four and another four. A cube has eight vertices. So it also has eight vertices. Look at the cone. Okay, so now I want you to think about the shape of a cone. Does the cone have any flat surfaces that meet? So take a minute to think, because this question is a little tricky. We know that a cone has a flat surface here at the bottom, right? If I were to turn that cone, you would see it looks like a circle flat on the bottom. Does the cone have a flat surface that meets a point? Hmm. No, a cone does not have any flat surfaces that meet. But just because the flat surface isn't coming together to meet doesn't mean that the cone does not have a vertex. A cone has one vertex. So even though the flat surfaces don't meet at a point like our cone and rectangular prism, I'm sorry, like our cube and rectangular prism, it still does have one vertex because we see it comes together to a point at the top of the cone. Do the cylinder and sphere have any flat surfaces that meet? Well, a sphere doesn't have any flat surfaces at all, so they're not going to have a flat surface that meets. Let's think about a cylinder. A cylinder does have two flat surfaces, but do you see any point on the cylinder that comes to a point to have a vertex? I don't. No. That means they do not have any vertices either. You have learned which solid figures have flat surfaces and which have vertices. Let's go into our practice problems. So the vocabulary that we learned today, the first one we came across was flat surface. And a flat surface is um, on some solid figures, right? And it's that flat point that is on the figure. It's pointing here in the arrow to pointing to some of the flat surfaces there. However, our turtle is reminding us that a sphere does not have any flat surfaces, meaning it can roll on all sides. We also learned this word vertex, or plural, vertices, if it has more than one. And a vertex, or vertice, is a point where three or more edges meet. So where those flat surfaces are coming to meet at a point is what's going to be called our vertex. And again, if it has more than one, we will call it a vertice. Let's go into our guided practice. We're gonna look at the solid figure and name um, the number of flat surfaces as well as vertices. So the first one is done for us and it is a rectangular prism. A rectangular prism has a total of six flat surfaces and the number of vertices, which we counted in our video, which is where they come to meet at a point, when you count them all, there are a total of eight. Let's talk about our sphere. A sphere, round on all sides, can roll in any direction that you put it. Does a sphere have a flat surface? Shout out your answer. I hope that you said no. It does not have any flat surfaces, so we would write zero as our answer. Now, if it doesn't have any flat surfaces, I don't think it would be possible for them to come to a point, so, does a sphere have any vertices? Shout out your answer. I hope that you said no. There are zero vertices in a sphere. Let's go on to our cone. A cone. Think about a cone. Does a cone have any point where it is flat? Yes, it does. At that bottom piece, if I were to lift up the cone, 
and show you the bottom piece of the cone, it would look like a circle. That is the flat surface. So there is only one flat surface on a cone. And number of vertices or vertex, if I'm looking here, it looks like it comes to a point at the top, but that's the only place that I see it come to a point. So it only has one vertex. Let's go on to number four, which is, which is our cylinder. Um, counting the number of flat surfaces, so that flat piece. I see that it is standing up here, so it looks like there is a flat surface here on the bottom, which I, if I were to lift it up would look like a circle. But a cylinder also has a flat surface here on the top that looks like a circle. So the number of flat surfaces is two. Now, number of vertices, meaning where they come together at a point, do you see any points on a cylinder? I hope that you said no. There are zero vertices on a cylinder. Couple more problems. Now we're going to look at some objects that are solid figures. The first one, number five, is a picture of a soccer ball. Now a soccer ball is like what shape? Shout out the answer. I hope that you said it's like a sphere, so keep that in mind. Does a sphere or soccer ball have any flat surfaces? No, it does not, so it should be zero. Now, again, think about a sphere or a soccer ball. At any point, does it come to a point? I don't see that, so again, it should be zero for that as well. Number six, I have a picture of a block. Think about the number of flat surfaces. I want you to count with me. We have one, two, three that I can see, but that doesn't mean that's all there is. If I have one on this side, I will also have one on this side, even though I can't see it, so that's four. And I have one flat surface on this side, so that means I also have one on this side, even though I cannot see it. So that's five. And I have a flat surface here at the top, which means I also have one underneath at the bottom. So that comes to a total of six flat surfaces on a block. Now let's think about the number of vertices, where they come to a point. I want you to count with me. I see one, two, three, four but what's on one side is also on the other, so I need to double that, another four. I was at four, so let's count on five, six, seven, and even though I can't see it, I know that there is one on the other side, coming to a total of eight vertices for this block. Now let's talk about this drum. This drum looks like what solid shape? Shout out your answer. I hope that you said it looks like a cylinder. Now let's think about a cylinder and think about the number of flat surfaces that we see. I see one flat surface here at the top that I'm coloring in, but I also know that a cylinder has the same thing at the bottom, even though I can't see it. So there is a total of two flat surfaces on this drum. Now thinking about number of vertices, um, it doesn't look like this drum comes to any corners or points. So there are zero vertices. Next question says to write the name of the shape that continues the pattern. So just like with our plane shapes, I can also um, put together a pattern that will repeat itself with my solid shapes. So let's look at what we see here. I have sphere, sphere, cube, sphere, sphere, cube, sphere, sphere, cube, Take a minute to think what would come next in the pattern and remembering that a pattern always repeats. Take a minute to think and when you're ready, shout out your answer. I hope that you said the next pattern would be a sphere. And our last two questions for today, it says to use the clues to answer each question. So let's think about it. Number 10, I have two flat surfaces. I have no vertices. Which solid figure am I? So close your eyes and start to paint a picture in your mind. Which solid shape has 
two flat surfaces, think on the top and the bottom, two flat surfaces, but no vertices, meaning it comes to no points. Take a minute to think which solid figure would that be? Shout out your answer when you're ready. And I hope that you said it is a cylinder. And our last question for today, it says, I have no flat surfaces and I have no vertices. Okay, no flat surface, no vertices. What solid figure am I? Again, close your eyes and think about all of the different solid shapes that we have learned. And which is the shape that has absolutely no flat surfaces or no vertices? Shout out your answer when you're ready. I hope that you said sphere. And that is our practice for today. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and let me know. I'll see you tomorrow, boys and girls. Have a good day. Bye.